I'm Bruce Stevenson. And I'm Linda Piccinini. And together we are today's dental consulting. And this morning we're going to do another one of our little brief video hacks, this time on using planned appointments and the value of using planned appointments in open dental. So we spend a lot of time and a lot of energy trying to entice new patients into our practice. But then we turn around and welcome them right back out the back door again. Definitely do not want to do this. The two hardest things to do in a dental office is collect money after the patient has left the, left the office and try to get a patient back in the office who left without an appointment. So let's head them off at the pass, particularly when it comes to scheduling their next appointment. So here's Open Dental, and we're in Donald Duck's appointment here. I'm in the back, I'm the dentist, or I'm the chair side, and I finished the appointment for today, and I make sure that the treatment is posted. And now it's critically important that the dentist and the chair side control the next appointment, even if they're not gonna schedule the next appointment from the back. They need to control that next appointment from the back. And you can do this with planned appointments. So here's the planned appointment tag right here. We're going to go there, and we're going to make a planned appointment. So I'm just picking some treatment that I want to do for Donald's next appointment. So I've selected the treatment, and Open Dental over here has guesstimated how long I want that treatment to be. And this is way too long. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I want like a 111 for this. In other words, about two hours. Well, let's put that in like that. Just like with the appointment we're really gonna schedule, I wanna timestamp it and put my initials so everybody knows who did that. Now I have a planned appointment here. Now, uh, I'm gonna switch to the front desk. Donald's on his way out, and that's where we're gonna make the next appointment. By the way, I would rather make this appointment in the back, but sometimes you do make appointments in the front. So I'm gonna to go to the appointment book, and Linda, what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and select my patient. Okay, Mr. Donald Duck. Okay, I'm going to make appointment. Okay, and I planned appointment should show up right there, and there it is. Excellent. Okay, so go ahead. So I just copied it to the clipboard. Okay. There it is over here, and now I can put that appointment anywhere I want. So I didn't have to communicate with the back. I didn't have to say out loud in front of patients, how much time did you need? You <laughs> we <do>? communicated. <laughs> yeah, we communicated that through Open Dental. So that's a planned appointment. That's how the back controls the treatment that's involved in that next appointment and the duration of the next appointment. It contributes so much to the efficiency of the office. Makes it less stressful. Okay, more productive, better patient care. Planned appointments, using planned appointments and open dental, very handy tool. 